Previously, I made a video on what I call the bebop rudiments. These are little shapes and melodic ideas that you can either string together to build lines or use to embellish any melody or phrase that you might come up with to make it sound more like bebop. That's the idea anyway. And even though I did play examples of them in that video, I feel like we didn't really get to see the full utility of understanding and applying these rudiments. So to do that, I built a solo using some of those rudiments. And I want to deconstruct the solo so that we can see the language in action. How a given rudiment sounds in different contexts, how they can be combined, how you can use them to break down a more complicated non-rudimental phrase so that you can turn it into a rudiment of your own. And I'm sure that there will be lots of cool stuff for you to get out of this process. So let's get into it. Firstly, I'm going to play the solo so that you can hear it. Then we'll start to break it down. So here it goes. Almost forgot to mention that this solo that we're going to take a look at is over two choruses of a blues. Okay, pretty simple, standard type of changes, things that can happen in a blues, happen in a lot of different um, jazz tunes. So that's why I picked that. Um, anyway, enough stalling, let's get into it. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> chance to hear what the solo sounds like let's start breaking it down the first section we're going to work on is this that's the first phrase we're going to work on and actually that very first phrase starts out on a diminished chord in this case i'm superimposing a mind diminished as i would call it Okay, because I want to go perch. I want to get that perch sound to tonic. Okay, so in this case, that first note that I'm playing is A flat. And the other um, main notes in that figure are um, notes from that same diminished. I guess in, in my diminished series, I would call that specific diminished fire. Okay. And I'm going to try to use as many relative terms as possible um, just so that transposing instruments can also follow along. So anyway, we're in the key of F and that first, very first note is me. It's flat me. Do, re, mi, me. That's our first note, okay? So from that note, we're going to come down a diminished structure all the way to the very next octave first starting with a smear and then just coming down the notes of a diminished until we get the octave down now if you're confused about what is a smear in the original bebop rudiments video i called it something else i called it the pasquale major scale he didn't invent that melodic device but like i explained in the video i only called it that because he is someone who i've seen teach it in videos and stuff and originally, I wasn't really sure how much reach my videos would get. And I was really kind of just making them for my students. Um, and me and my student went to go see Pasquale. So I was just relating it to stuff that he would know. Anyway, from now on, this figure, where we sort of do like a triple you know, land on. That sort of figure we're going to call that a smear. So I'm smearing from this first note and then 
completing the diminished down the octave. So like, smooth diminished quadrat. So in this solo, the very first thing I'm doing is a diminished. I'm superimposing a diminished sound over what is actually the tonic chord because I want to get this sound. But I won't really go into detail as to why I'm superimposing or what that exactly means. If you want me to do a dedicated video on superimposing stuff, let me know in the comments. So that's the first part of the phrase. The next thing I'm doing is I'm approaching Do and coming down that diminished again. So now we have this. Smear, diminished, approach, diminished and from there we're going to smear up and then from that last note we're going to approach what is so in this key so if you couldn't hear the phrase actually starts on two it starts rhythmically on the second beat so if i if i were to count it in it would be like this one, two, three, four, one, de da di da di da 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 like that. Two, three, four, one, da like that. Boom. From this point, we're gonna climb up. We're gonna climb up the scale, but adding this E flat here. So it's a run. It's a scale run. In solfege, that would be we start. The run on so and we're gonna climb up to this la from there we fall back onto la and then skip down and then we step up that that should almost be a rudiment in itself And so on like I feel like I've heard that phrase in something anyway now from there we're gonna do a flutter skip that is surrounding do okay again from there I play a little phrase, the first phrase from Moose the Mooch. And then from there, I'm going to play the same mind diminished that we played before to get back to tonic. So how I do that is I start on La and I play that same sort of smear quadrad um, on that diminished chord. So I'm playing a diminished chord from La to La, but I'm smearing that first skip. Then I jump back up to Mi. So when I hit that Mi, I'm back in F major scale again. So I smear up and then come down this scale and I'm going to play F sharp instead of F. So here's what we have. From there, from that F sharp, I'm gonna pivot a diminished. Cool, so that's what we have for that phrase. Now from there, I'm gonna fall onto La and go up a quadrat. So I'm going up this D7. And from there, I'm going to fall onto the flame of G7. Now from that note, that B, I'm just going to come down, dominant bebop scale, G7 bebop scale. And instead of hitting a B as the next note, I'm just going to hit a B flat to match with the next chord. Now 
Now from that note, which is Fa in this key, I'm going to lob. So I come up three notes and then skip up, which is what a lob is. And then I'm going to approach Mi. And then hit Do after that. Now that almost could be a rudiment in itself, that shape that you sequence up. Let me play up to that point. Okay, now we just got to finish out that phrase and we're done with the first chorus. So after that last phrase with the lob and the approach, we're going to hit this do a couple times and then flutter skip with this te right here. Okay. And then we're going to fall back onto this. So. Fall. And then we're going to hit do. So that's the last phrase of this first chorus. Cool. So I'll play that from the beginning. And now we're into the next chorus. All right, so that'll wrap it up for this video. You can see this is yet another shirt change. So this is taken me a while to do this video. So we're just gonna cover the next course in a separate video. So this will be a two-parter. Make sure you stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed and you wanna see that video, make sure you hit that button and let me know any thoughts that you have in the comments. Do you wanna see a video on superimposing? Do you want to see a video on specific substitutions that you can do in a jazz blues? Maybe covering using eight note scales to improvise. Are there any specific rudiments that you would want to see more examples of in solos and how to use them? Let me know all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video.